What? Outside. Alright folks, welcome back and thank you for coming back once again. If you remember this guitar, it's back on the bench now. This guitar here has been uh, like this. I'll get you and show you here what's going on in a minute for those that didn't see the other video on it. It's been three or four days now, okay? And uh, I'll show you how I got it clamped up here. I come in here every day, one time a day, and tweak that uh, adjusting head bolt on the truss rod about an eighth of a turn each day so it uh, the truss rod is quite a bit tighter now than it already was it was already tight as hell if you all remember well it's tight now <laughs> it is really tight now and it should uh, hold back bow. you remember what we needed back bow? Uh, well actually back up under string tension we needed uh, lesser relief in the neck I think that's how it was yeah and I, could, I was afraid to tighten it anymore without doing this right here. Anyways, I got it quite a lot tighter, probably. Oh, uh, wow. I'll answer that later. Sorry about that. Anyways, I'll get you now, bring you over here, and show you this uh, horrible, horrible mess I've gotten myself into. But it's going away. It's working. It worked. And it do it! So there it is in its majestic beauty. And the wrench and the glasses and the whole thing, man. Uh, yeah, every day, I never tighten this clamp, maybe one more time after that, uh, after I put it on there. Like I say, it's been three or four days now. And see what I did, I put a block here, a piece of leather, and a block, a piece of leather back here, and a block. And I set this two by four on those two blocks, and by clamping it in the center of the neck, I'm forcing backward bow, you know, into the neck. You, you might be able to see it. I don't have my glasses on right now. I can't see the camera, but I can actually, when I get down there and look at that, I can see back bow in the neck. So I'm going to take it all apart now, and we're going to see if it keeps that back bow. Or maybe what we're shooting for is to have lesser neck relief under string tension. So let's find out. All right. Oh, so ever gently. I want to take this loose. Remove that, and then we're going to remove the blocks and the leather. Blocks and the leather. Uh, let's just see real quick here. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's got back bow in it. I can rock the straight edge on it, man. Rock the straight edge on the whole thing. But what we want to know is, I won't keep you all here while I'm tuning, stringing it up, tuning it up, and stuff. So, uh, wow, I can't see, man. Put on the shades so I can see a little bit better with them. It's awful to get old, man. You guys know it. I know some of you do. <laughs> Your hands don't work right. My mom told me one time, she said, boy, when you get old, she said, you can't think like you used to. You can't even talk like you used to. She didn't always laugh and said, well, you'll find out if you live long enough. You're going to see what I'm saying. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm seeing it. All right, I'm going to tune it up, and I'll bring you back, and we'll check that and see if it, uh, our little trick worked or not. I'm pretty sure it did. All right, under string tension. Uh, let's measure the neck relief first, and then I'll come back and check that nut action again. I forget what it was. I think it was pretty close to right. I got 11 out here already. Now before, if I noted all the way down here on the last fret, <laughs> 19th, I've seen a guitar with 19 frets on it before. Well, I've got to get up here where I can see, man. My old eyes are shot. And we want to see that just slide in there. Look at that. Check that out, man. I pulled the string off the neck. That is as perfect 11 as you could get. Now, you normally on electric guitars, I like to set mine at uh, even 10 and I like my acoustics around 12 but uh, with these big strings on here and they're what I tell you what 52 10 to 52 yeah you know and big strings need a little bit more room to to move man 
Now if I note up here, we got a horrendous a ski jump back here. It's really bad. If I note anywhere up here above the ski jump, it's going to be less. Yeah, I see there's smooth raising the string up. But because this guitar is cut out down here and you can play it down here, I'm going to come all the way back here and set it to that. And there it is, man. A perfect 11. Alright, this, uh, Let me get a, another tool here. It's a little easier to handle, not so huge. <laughs> oh, this is my old rusty, trusty one. I'm going to get a 10 and an 8. I got 18 thousandths right here. I remember now. It's a little more than 18. See if I don't if I don't turn that like this, if I can hold it in there flat, strings will ring out from under. So it's a little bit more than uh, 18 is what I have out here. Alright. I'm not gonna set this up tonight and I'll tell you why. In a momento! Now I did adjust this down a little bit when I had the uh, strings loose on it because you can't tighten or loosen that with other string tension. Or you, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Yeah, let's see here. I think it was like five, uh, 7 64 before. It's 5 64 now on the low E, 12th fret. 5 64 on the high E, 12th fret. I'll just turn both screws, I think a half a turn or something. But dig this. It's got that ski jump down here, okay? We got 564s and 564s here. If I come down here where the ski jump is, I measure 464s and 464s. The strings are closer here. And they are up here at the 12th fret. I can see that ski jump looking at it on sideways, man. I'll get the camera. Try to show that to you all. It's pretty bad. Hold on. I don't know how's the best way to show you, but you can see the relief in the neck. You can see the relief in the neck. I'll show you, give you a little bit of perspective here. And then you can see the strings get closer to the fretboard at the very end of it. That fretboard extension, we'll call it. Though it's not really an extension, but see how close the strings are there? When you come up here, they're farther away. You know, nothing you can do about that except take the frets out and sand that down flat. Maybe if I held the camera up here, you could see the ski jump. Yeah, I think I'm seeing it in the camera. Stupid camera won't focus, but nothing ever works when you turn the cameras on. <laughs> Seems that way. What? <coughs> Outside? <coughs> Woo! Now, I'm not going to set this guitar up on this video, and I'll tell you why. How many are you uh, familiar? How many of you are familiar with uh, what they call the buzz fighting tuning? I think that's how they pronounce it. F E I T E N or something like that. F E I T E N. Fight. It's pronounced fighting, I think, but it's spelled funky. Anyways, uh, there are several ways. I've seen a bunch of different ways you tune it. One way, you get your first string in tune, and then you tune your second string to it by noting it here. Tune your third one to the second one by noting it here. And of course, your fourth one to the third one by noting the fourth one here. Fifth one. And then on the sixth string, you hit that harmonic and tune that with your first string. That's one way I've seen it displayed to do it. Another way I've had it explained was you tune your second string, I think, a little bit sharp. No, flat. I think it's flat. I'll have to look this up and make sure because I've never set a guitar up for that. Uh, I just tune your second string so many cents flat, I think, and the third string so many cents sharp. To achieve that, and I want to set this guitar up for that, so I'm not going to get into setup tonight. 
because uh, you know I don't know what I'm going to get into with that. And I'm going to play it a little bit and make sure this ski jump down here is not making frets buzz and rattle and all kind of weird crazy weirdness happen. That's about as low right there as I told you the action 564. It's just about as low as you're going to get it. If I go any lower than that, I don't think it buzzes right now. But uh, if I go any lower than that, it's going to buzz down here on that ski jump. But it chords really nice. It's easy. It feels like it's going to be easy to play. Next video, we'll set it up and plug it up and play it and do all that. But the thresh rod cover back on it. Uh, the cover goes over the back back here. Do all that. We'll do all that in the next video. Set it up and listen to it. So thanks for watching. Cheers to you. Keep your hands clean, folks. You know what they say. Wow, I can't believe what's happening to our, wor our world. Unbelievable. And I hope it's not affecting you, but I know it is. It's affecting everybody on this planet. But anyways, do the best you can, man. Keep your hands clean and uh, stay healthy. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time.